Hey everybody, welcome to number four of the list section. And I know there's a lot in here, but that's because lists are really important and there's a lot that you have to do with them. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you the methods uh, that come along with the list object. Now, list is actually an, it's an object, which we haven't talked about objects because that's an object-oriented thing and it doesn't really come up until we get out of the basics of programming. But that doesn't mean you still you can't use them and being able to use them is a little different than understanding actually what they are. So in this uh, section I'm going to show you some of the list methods and a method is just like a function except it's attached to an object and as I just said you don't know really what that means but when I start showing you examples it'll be really easy to understand. So we're going to have this list, same list we've been playing with this whole time, these ages. And I'm going to do nine different things to this list. And the first couple things I'm going to do are how you can put new stuff into the list. Okay, so it's pretty easy. The uh, first one is called append. So append works like the following. So if you have your list, you can say append and you're gonna notice this dot right here, this period. This signifies that I'm using a method, that this is an object and that this is a method. And lists have these and a lot of other things in Python do. Uh, you're gonna see it for this in the basics of the basic tutorial. You're really just gonna see it in the list section. You might see it a little bit later on, but for the most part, I'm not gonna be using the dot operator very often. So we have the ages, which is the list object, dot, append, and whatever we want to put inside here is going to go to the end of our list. So let's say I have a new age and it's 19. Now I print out ages, and you're going to see that I have added 19 onto the end of the list. Okay? And I can do it again, add another age, and now I have 15 on the end of the list. Okay, so append is you use append a lot when you're collecting information and in some of the example projects I definitely use append a whole bunch. Uh, in this one we're just going to use it here just append some ages and then I'm going to teach you the next way to add something on. So I'm actually going to get rid of append we're not going to need that anymore just we'll come back to this in examples and other things later. Uh, the next thing is insert. So insert works like append it's going to put something new into our list, but we're going to tell it the index that we want to put it at. So I use insert, and the first thing is the index, and then we put the value. So let me put that there, and actually, you know what? I'll just put append value. Okay. So we've got ages dot insert, and let's say this time I want to put a number uh, right here. Okay, I want to put it at the fifth index. I want to say 12. This way we know what number we're adding. And I'm going to put 5. So that's the fifth index. Let's see where it puts it here. Okay. Whoops. So, all right, I have that backwards. Fifth index. Put that backwards. 12. Value. Okay, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Normally, okay, we had uh, 15 at the fifth index, but you notice now that 15 is now at the sixth index. So what it did is it didn't replace the value here. It actually pushed the values up. So while this has 10 elements, if you look down here, there's actually now 11 elements in your array. So insert doesn't overwrite the values. What it does is it goes to the index, it pushes that index forward one, and then puts that value in. So if I, I put some more in here, uh, I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna keep putting them in at five, and I'm just gonna put ages in that you can see here, okay? So if I run this, now you see 10, 11, 12 have all been inserted in here. So I started with 12 and then 11 and 10, and every time I put it in at five, it pushes what was at five over and then puts the new value inside. Okay, so that's the insert. So there's two ways so far to put stuff in. We have append and that goes to the end and insert will go to the index that we specified. Okay, 
So let's look at the next one. The next one is pretty easy because you've kind of done this before and you actually don't need to do it this way. Uh, in here, you can take a list and you can extend by however you want. Now you already learned that you could do this by just adding and you can do that, it doesn't really matter. But if you want to use the extend, maybe you think the extend makes more sense because sometimes you put a plus in there and people don't necessarily know, are they adding two variables? Are they putting two lists together? So if someone else looks at your code, extend is what we call more explicit, meaning it's, it's easier for other people to understand what's going on. So let's say I want to extend 17, 18. I extend this and you'll notice at the end, 15, 16, 17, 18, it just adds on to the end of the list. So you might still not understand why I would do this, but let me give you an example. Let's say I say ages is equal to ages plus uh, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now, this using the plus sign, the plus can be used for a lot of different things. And some people might think that this is not quite the most beautiful way of doing it is using plus. Instead, they will prefer to use extend because extend has you know, language. It reads more, uh, it reads better than using a plus. We'll just put it that way, okay? Uh, all right, um, moving on. So these are the three different ways we can put things into a list. So now let's actually look at two different ways we can take things out of a list. So the first way is going to be using the pop method and pop actually has two different ways you can do something so if I do ages pop and then I run this so let's look at what happens before I run so I have this list and then I run it with that you notice the 15 has popped off the end and if I can pop another one off and it will just keep popping things off the list until I have nothing left all right, so that's pretty cool. Pop works uh, pretty well. Um, now ages.pop, I already wrote it there. Ages.pop index is gonna pop out that specific index. So let's say I wanna get rid of the first 18 I have here. So I would use index three and I run this and you'll notice it goes 14, 15, 13, 14, 15, 13, no 18. And then it goes back 14, 15, 16, 14, 15, 16, 18, 17, 15. So pop, with this value here, we'll just take out the index that we want. So if I want to take out the ninth index, take off the end, I could do the same thing here that this would do. So pop nine and pop nothing actually pop off the same value because the ninth index is the last index. Okay, so that's pop. And the other one we could use would be. Uh, Let's see, ages dot remove, okay, and remove does something a little interesting. So let's say ages removed value. So I'm going to do ages dot remove, let's do 13, okay. So there's only one 13 in here, only one thing that has a value of 13. And if I do that, it will remove the 13 from the list. So notice that here at the bottom, this second index has been taken out. But what if I do something that has multiple values? So I have three 15s in here, right? If I run this, it's only gonna take the first 15 it finds. So where pop will take the end number or the index we specify, remove, starts here and goes through until it finds the first thing that matches this value and it takes it out. Now if I said remove 20, okay, it says that it's not in that list. So if you're gonna run this, you better make sure that remove will actually work. Because if it doesn't work, then it's gonna crash. So you better make sure that thing is in your list before you use remove. While pop or pop index, as long as the list exists and that index is valid, it will work. Okay, so both of these are useful just for different purposes. Okay, so these are the five different ways you can either add or remove things. So you have three ways to add things and two ways to remove things. Okay, so some pretty useful, pretty useful methods here. And you notice I'm not using the word function, I'm using the word method, and that's because this is an object. 
And as I said once again, we haven't talked about that, but we will get to it later. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at a few other things to make some space. I'm going to delete those. Let's take a look at the first one is count. So I'm going to say print ages dot count and count looks for a value and it counts the number of times that shows up. So if I type 15, I get three, 18, I get two, 25, I get zero. So it just counts how many instances or how many times that one thing appears. Okay, so pretty useful function. Uh, index kind of does the same thing. It searches the list, but it actually will give you the index of the first time that thing shows up. So maybe we want to remove all, say, 15s from the list. Well, if I do this, it tells me where the first 15 is. Then I can actually use that. I could say ages.pop ages.index 15. And then I could print that again. So let's say I did this. I ran it. It would pop this one out. And then it would, the list would look different. So this would now be at the fourth index and then it would find the next 15, which is at index four. So the index, ages.index value finds the index of the value that you're looking for, okay? All right, the next one here is pretty easy. Uh, you actually don't wanna put it in a print statement. You wanna just put it out here, ages.sort, and then you can print ages. So if I do this, it will sort these from least to greatest. And there's options, you can change this so it sorts greatest to least and so on. Or option, the option you can make is if you want it sorted greatest to least is you can say ages.reverse and you now reverse the list. So sort and then reverse. Okay, so two useful functions here, sorting and reversing. All right, uh, so all of these functions, we have a way to add elements, three ways to add elements two ways to remove elements, uh, one way to count, one way to find a value of a certain type. You can sort it and you can reverse the list. Okay, so these are all list methods and you access them using this dot. As long as the variable is a list object, you can access them via the dot. Okay, so this was a kind of a long video, I think. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here. So make sure to do the practice lessons and uh, make sure to go and do practice using these put them in a program play around with it okay all right we will see you in the next video uh, when I start talking about uh, how to splice a list and then later on we'll talk about how to print out lists and do different things like that okay looking forward to the next video and see you soon